So our outdoor uh, growing season is coming to an end here. We are in the first week of September. We haven't had a frost yet at night, which is great, but I know there's one coming here pretty soon. The temperatures are going to drop down to very close to freezing uh, coming up in the next few days. So I'm always looking at some of my plants and because I like to do indoor growing using the hydroponic method, um, I'm often trying to bring some of those plants indoors to see if I can keep them going over the winter. And one of the things that I have read about that is um, successful and easy to grow indoors using hydroponics is strawberries. So I want to try to save a couple of these. I have these growing in pots just outside all summer and uh, they produced a little bit of fruit but I should have actually planted them into the ground and it just never happened. So, so first thing I want to do is to try and clean all the dirt as much as the dirt as I can off of these roots so that I can set it up in a Kratky hydroponic method and also because I'm bringing in plants from the outdoors I do not want to be bringing any type of bugs into my house so we're going to give it a treatment to make sure there's no you know eggs or aphids or any kind of uh, insects that we would bring into the home so to do that I'm just going to first of all try to shake as much dirt as I can off of these So I found that these ones that I took from these small pots are so root bound that they're a little bit hard to uh, really get clean and get the dirt out of them. So then I took some from this bigger pot here that I had growing. And as you can see, the it's a little bit easier to get all the dirt out of these just because they had a little more room for growth all summer. So I'm going to switch, switch the plan and use these ones take indoors and try to set up inside all of my other strawberries such as these ones and I have some more containers of strawberries I'm just going to plant into the ground into an area that I would like uh, these to come back hopefully in the spring so, so as you can see here I'm able to get these roots a lot more cleaner and uh, I'll just keep rinsing them a little bit more then we'll take them inside and give them a good bath in some soapy water just to make sure we don't have any pests coming into the house with us. So before taking this indoors I'm going to do some pruning on this strawberry plant a little bit. Take away some of these bigger leaves. So you end up similar to what you have initially when you buy these in bare root form in the spring. So you can see there's quite a bit of strong roots here so I might just thin it out a little bit Get some of these strong roots thinned out I hope I'm not <laughs> gonna kill the plant hopefully but just trying to make it look similar to what it did when I purchased these in the spring in the bare root form Got some pretty good roots there. And I'm just gonna hack away these little tiny ones.
So to mix up my nutrients today, I'm going to be using this three-part Holland Secret uh, blend. It's a three-part formula. You can also use a two-part formula such as Root Farm, which is something I use a lot of as well. I like it because it is only two parts. It's a little less mixing, but I have quite a good supply of this today. So that's what we're going to use. And following the um, the application table at the back here, I'm going to just mix it up on a very diluted stage um, used for seedlings and cuttings. So that requires only a quarter teaspoon of each of these three to go into this uh, four liter or one gallon size container. I like to pre-mix mine in this these vinegar jugs just so I have a good batch to fill my vessels. And you want to make sure that you have it well mixed before you add the next part to your jug here. So I'm going to be using three inch net pots here to set up these strawberries and what I have done is I, because there's a quite a bit of roots here to, to work through, I took these and just cut some of it out in the bottom just so it's a little easier to pull these, these roots through. So these are the containers I'm going to be using to plant up my strawberries today. I love using these containers for the crack key method of hydroponics. They just work well. They do good at uh, keeping the light out so you don't have issues with algae. The lids are super easy to cut out with just a utility knife to fit your net pot. And they have a nice little handle so you can pull it in and out of your shelves or from under your grow lights. And sometimes you know, you can spray paint them with a nice color if you want to make the, the uh, pot look a little nicer. So we're going to fill them up about halfway with our nutrient solution. Because these strawberries already have, you know, a good root system to reach the water, I'm not going to fill it too full. So with the Cracky Method, is a, it is a passive uh, method that requires no pumps, no air stones. And the way the crack key method works is as long as you keep some air for the roots to breathe um, in between this nutrient solution and the top of the plant, it should thrive and grow okay. So once I have the lid in place, I'm just going to slap this in here and just make sure that the roots are reaching that nutrient water. So I want to make sure those stronger roots are going to get to the nutrients. So the water right now is just reaching the bottom of the net cup, so I think that's good. And you can usually have a good look down in the bottom and see that the water level is right where you want it. Then from there, just to uh, block out the light and fill up the space around here with these clay balls, these hydrogen clay balls. And 
and I expect that a lot of this greenery at the top will maybe die off and it'll look like the plant is not living but really it's going to be in the root system that I will be keeping an eye on over the next month or so to see if those uh, roots are still alive and then from there you should see some new growth come up here from the crowns of the strawberries. So that is how they get set up using the Kratky method and I'm just going to set them under the grow lights and we will keep an eye on them now to see how they make out. Okay, so here they are set up under the grow lights now. I kind of expect that a lot of this greenery is going to die off here over the next couple of weeks and I'll be just watching the roots and looking for some new uh, growth coming here down at the base of the crown. Okay, so now I have got my watermelon plant here all washed, debugged, ready to go in. I just have it sitting in some water here while I got my container ready. In here I have put three gallons of water and now I have calculated out how much of the nutrients I need to put in here based on the three gallons. So I'm just going to mix it up now, get it good and stirred, and then we'll be ready to put the the melon plant into the solution here. So I use the table at the back here mixing it up at an early vegetative stage so based on that I have calculated out my measurements. So depending on which nutrients you're using you should always check the table at the back and, and follow those. So this is a much bigger container of uh, nutrient water than compared to the strawberries that we just did. And as always, you want to give it a good stir, let it sit a little bit between each different nutrient that you put in. So the container that I'm using here is actually from a hard ice cream store that uh, is not too far away from here. And once she uses these, she just uh, sells them for a couple bucks. And I purchased this and brought it home spray painted it with the black uh, spray paint because the light would probably get through it uh, just leaving it as is I just thought some black sp spray paint will help keep the light out and prevent algae growing and then I just took my net cup I think this is a four inch size and traced it out cut a hole with a exacto knife and then that fits in there really good so now it's just going to be how to get the plant in through the net cup and work some of the roots through it. So we have a pretty big chunk of roots here so working it through the net cup might be a little bit tricky so we'll see how it goes here. I would like to try and work as much of it as I can through the bottom without having to cut any extra holes through my net cup. Just going to try to gently work through what look to be some of the bigger roots. So I'll just kind of pull these ones through. So here I've got about I've got four good sized roots pulled through, and the rest can kind of sit within the net cup. And when I place it in here, I can still see that there is a good amount of air for some of these roots. So there's going to be air here for the roots so we won't drown them. And now it's just a matter of um, filling up the spaces around the roots here with some clay pebbles. So besides just blocking out light, these clay pebbles help, you know, give the plant some stability as well. So we can have it standing up nice and straight. Okay, so there is the watermelon planted up in a crafty hydroponic system. 
So now this plant is going to go into my grow tent under the lights and we will see how it progresses over the next few weeks. So another way you can bring your garden vegetables indoors for the winter is to take cuttings. And this is what I like to do with my tomatoes. So I have a couple of my favorites here. This is the Roadster tomato, which is a determinant, and I'm just having it rooted here in the water. So it's pretty much ready to put into a vessel now. And I also took cuttings from the Sun Gold cherry, which has got a good bunch of roots here going as well. So this one's an indeterminant, which is a little harder to control indoors, but I'm going to uh, set it up in my grow tent and see how it goes. Okay, so that is how you get some of your garden plants from your garden soil set up indoors in the hydroponic method. So if you have any plants that you've tried to do uh, using this method, I would love to hear about it in the comments. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos coming to my channel. Thank you for watching.